Hello students, welcome to WeLearn, session number one of Computer Fundamentals. Today we are going to discuss the various characteristics of computer, the generation of computers, what are the different classification of computers, what are the different components of a computer, what are the various input devices, the output devices, what are processing devices and the memory devices. A computer system is a machine which accepts data. Now data is something which is called the input. जो हम देते हैं एक computer को कुछ काम करने के लिए information देते हैं उसको हम data कहते हैं Now computer processes it. वो उस पर कुछ functions करता है which which is called the processing and returns information. Now that information is what the calculation जो हमें required है This is an output. So basically जो हम data जो डालते हैं that is called an input. कंप्यूटर उसकी प्रोसेसिंग करता है फंक्शंस प्रोवाइड करता है जो हमारे को जो हमें फंक्शन चाहिए कैलकुलेशन चाहिए वो करता है और हमारे को एक आंसर देता है जो इस जो एक इन्फॉर्मेशन देता है व्हिच इज़ एन आउटपुट नाउ वी कैन से दैट कंप्यूटर इज एक्चुअली अ मशीन दैट एक्सेप्ट डेटा व्हिच इज़ ऑफकोर्स एन इनपुट इसमें प्रोसेसिंग होती है विच इज़ डन थ्रू द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट एंड एन आउटपुट इज़ प्रोवाइडेड टू अस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सो बेसिकली we have the different computer systems which are a hardware a software which is um jo ek uh, computer ki application hai that is called a software a hardware is anything that we can touch and now this is uh, this function of processing is done by a user a uh, end user which is a student or anybody who use that application okay so we will now learn about the different characteristics of computers computers are required because hamare ko kaam jaldi karna hota hai we require speed hum ghar mein baithe kar agar calculation calculator pe karte hain ya koi aur processing karte hain takes a lot of time jabki computers wo cheez ko speed up kar dete hain so we need computers for speed we need them for accuracy because computers jo bhi kaam karenge wo accurate hoga unme galtiyan nahi hoti manual jo man galtiyan uh, as human beings jo hum calculation mein karte hain computer does not do it we need it for diligence because they are computers are capable of performing task given to them repetitively aur wo jaldi bhi karte hain and they have a large storage capacity koi constraint nahi hota usme ki storage kam hai ya we don't have we don't need books to write them they store it in their memory which is very very large so whatever information we give to the computer is stored which is in a uh, kept, uh, storage device which is called memory now memory can be external or internal memory now first of all before we discuss that thing hum ek cheez discuss karenge which is the generation of computers computers kis tarah se aaye what we use today is the fourth generation of computers but usse pehle computers generate ho chuke the we started with the first generation jo 1951 se start hui and it uh, it remained till 1958 the main component of that was the vacuum tube now vacuum tubes kya hoti hain they are actually electronic tubes and wo light bulbs ke size ki big वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स जो वो जो एक मेजर कंपोनेंट था हमारी फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स में पर उसमें हमारे को बहुत प्रॉब्लम्स आई डिसएडवांटेजेस थे कि वो बहुत हीट कंज्यूम जनरेट करती थी और उसके बाद वो फ्रीक्वेंटली बर्न आउट हो जाती थी इसलिए वी नीडेड अ सेकेंड एंड अ बेटर जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स विच केम इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एंड दे रिमेन टिल नाइनटीन उस जनरेशन के कंप्यूटर्स को हम सेकेंड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स कहते थे इसमें जो मेन कॉम्पोनेंट था वो था एक ट्रांजिस्टर इट वॉज एक्चुअली अ थ्री लेग कॉम्पोनेंट विच रंग द साइज ऑफ द फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स कंप्यूटर्स थोड़े से छोटे हो गए और वो पहले की कंपेरिजन में वन हंड्रेड वन ओब्लिक वन हंड्रेड ऑफ द स्पेस ऑफ अ वैक्यूम ट्यूब लेते थे वो पहले वाले जो मॉडल्स थे उससे बेटर थे वो कम जनरेश जनरेट करते थे हीट लेकिन उसके साथ भी हमारे डिसएडवाटेजेस थे इसलिए हमारे को नीट यूज हुई नीड uh, हमारे को अराइज हुई थर्ड जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स की जो थे 1965 से 1970 तक नाउ इस जनरेशन के जो कंप्यूटर्स थे इनका जो मेन कंपोनेंट था वो था इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स व्हिच वाज वेरी फेमस आज भी हम इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स के बारे में बात करते हैं बिकॉज वी आर इन द फोर्थ जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स और हमसे पहले थे थर्ड जनरेशन विच वॉज नॉट फार ऑफ और नाउ इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स वर एक्चुअली स्क्वेयर शेप सिलिकॉन चिप्स कंटेनिंग सर्किटी दैन That can perform the functions of hundred of transistors. 
लेकिन हमारे को इसमें भी कुछ डिसएडवांटेजेस थे हालांकि हम अभी उसके बारे में अभी डिस्कस नहीं करें फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस विच इज़ रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ कोर्स सेकेंड एंड थर्ड जनरेशन वो बेटर देन द फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स एंड अनलाइक द वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट जनरेशन सिलिकॉन्स विल नॉट ब्रेक डाउन ईजिली जो हमारे सेकेंड और सेकेंड uh, जनरेशन का मेन कॉम्पोनेंट था एंड इट वॉज लो इन कॉस्ट कम्पेयर टू द फर्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दे वर लो इन कॉस्ट और फोर्थ जनरेशन कंप्यूटर्स विच आर द प्रेजेंट डे कंप्यूटर्स जिसको हम कहते हैं माइक्रो प्रोसेसर विच इज़ द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द टूडेज जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर इज माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इट इज़ एक्चुअली अ सिलिकॉन चिप दैट कंसेंस द सी पी यू विच इज़ द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विच इज़ द पार्ट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर वेर ऑल प्रोसेसिंग टेक्स प्लेस वैन वी प्रोवाइड एन इनपुट और इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द कंप्यूटर इट इज़ प्रोसेस्ड एंड दिस इज दिस प्रोसेसन इज डन इन द सी पी यू विच इज़ द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर इसमें हमने और देखा है कि फोर जीरो जीरो फोर चिप थी विच वॉज द फर्स्ट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इंट्रोड्यूस बाय द इंटेल कॉरपोरेशन This is the uh, this is a today's generation of computer, which is the fourth generation, which is more powerful, which is more faster, which has more uh, capacity than the first, second, and third generation of the computers. And every month we can see there are new brands of and models of the fourth generation computer. जो हर हर मार्केट में हर एक महीने बाद आप थोड़े थोड़े टाइम बाद देखते हैं कि हमारे पास एक न्यू जनरेशन का आ जाता है मॉडल विच इज़ एक्चुअली द फोर्थ जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स विच इज़ बेटर देन द प्रीवियस वन विच इज़ फास्टर एंड विच हैज़ मोर मेमोरी नाउ वी विल कम टू अ वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंप्यूटर्स दिस स्टडी इज़ अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर विच आर द डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स द एनालॉग कंप्यूटर्स एंड द हाइब्रिड कंप्यूटर्स वी ऑल्सो नीड टू नो द डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स में हमारे पास डिफरेंट टाइप के कंप्यूटर्स होते हैं विच इज़ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर एज इट्स नेम सजेस्ट इट इज़ वेरी टाइनी वी हैव मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सुपर कंप्यूटर्स एंड द मिनी कंप्यूटर्स माइक्रो कंप्यूटर बेसिकली आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स विच इज़ अ होम कंप्यूटर एंड अ पी सी विच इज़ अ पर्सनल कंप्यूटर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इट इन फर्दर स्लाइड्स फर्स्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट एनालॉग कंप्यूटर एनालॉग कंप्यूटर एज वी टोल्ड यू इज अ टाइप ऑफ कंप्यूटर just like a digital computer and a hybrid computer analog computer is the one which measures and uh, answers questions by the method of how much isme how is a very important component because it is the one which differentiates a digital computer and an analog computer how much ka concept hota hai analog computers mein aur hum further study karenge digital computers mein jo concept hota wo hota hai uh, how many so the input data is not an inf in is in fact a physical quantity like a temperature pressure speed and velocity and an analog computer use signals which are continuous analog or digital mein farak hoga because they use two type of signals like digital use two type of signals whereas analog computer use continuous signals which which are 100 I'm sorry which are 100% accurate uh, which has accu accuracy of 1% approximately and they are high in speed their output is also continuous just like the signals but the time is wasted in transmission this is an example of analog computer as you can see the the other type of computer is digital computer isme how many ka concept hota hai analog mein how much ka concept hota hai and digital computers mein the main concept is how many they also have signals but they are of two levels like in dig in analog we have continuous signals digital computers mein signals are of two levels and their accuracy is unlimited hamari jo analog thi usme hamari accuracy limited thi jabki digital mein it is unlimited we have a low speed sequential as well as parallel processing because isme sequential bhi hogi aur parallel bhi processing hoti hai digital computers mein इसमें आउटपुट कंटिन्यूस होता है बट ऑप्टेन वेन कंप्यूटेशन इज कम्प्लीटेड अनादर कंसेप्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इज अ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर आप इसके नाम से ही देख सकते हैं माइक्रो कंप्यूटर इज अ स्मॉलेस्ट कंप्यूटर सिस्टम दे आर साइज रेंज फ्रॉम कैलकुलेटर टू डेस्कटॉप साइज इट्स सी पी यू इज नोन एज अ माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इट ऑल्सो नोन इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ग्रैंड चाइल्ड कंप्यूटर आप बेसिकली हम माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स यूज करते हैं मल्टी यूजर सिस्टम्स में ऑफिस में और नदर कंसेप्ट इज ऑफ मिनी कंप्यूटर दीज आर ऑल्सो स्मॉल जनरल पर्पज सिस्टम्स बट हम इनकी बेसिकली एप्लीकेशन हम इनकी होती है बेसिकली इनकी एप्लीकेशन डिपार्टमेंटल सिस्टम्स में नेटवर्क सर्वर्स में और वर्क ग्रुप सिस्टम में मिनी कंप्यूटर को हम मिड रेंज कंप्यूटर या चाइल्ड कंप्यूटर भी कहते हैं दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मिनी कंप्यूटर एज आ एज यू कैन सी इट इज वेरी स्मॉल बट इज है all the applications and microprocessor of course 
Now we'll discuss what is a mainframe computer. Mainframe computers are those computers that offer faster processing and greater storage area. Now, is me hamara ek concept ye hota hai ki wo bahut fast hote hain. And they are also known as father computers. Unlike hamare mini computers and micro computers, these are called the father computers jis ki hum basically use hum karte hain host computer mein jahan pe humne central base rakhna hota hai, database rakhna hota hai, wahan pe hum use karte hain father computer because we need a very large storage area. Databases jahan bhi uh, store hote hain, they are stored in mainframe computers. Or uh, the next concept is super uh, computer. Super computers are those computer which are designed for scientific jobs, whether forecasting or artificial intelligence, etc. They are faster and expensive. A super computer contains a number of CPU which operate in parallel to make it faster. It is also known as grandfather computer. It is much more. It's a bigger version of the um, earlier computers and the mainframe computer. It is basically used in weather forecasting, weapons research and development. As you can see this is a supercomputer which is of course called a grandfather computer. Now we will classify the different type of digital computers. We have different type of digital computers like the des desktop, we have a workstation, notebooks, tablet, PC, handheld computers and smartphone these are uh, all the different uh, these are the kinds of digital computers we can ca classify digital computers in the form of these this of course is a workstation which we can commonly see in offices this is a tablet PC which is a new version latest one this is a handheld PC which is also called a PDA another smartphone Smartphones are very very famous applications these days. Now we will discuss the various components of a computer system. This over here you can see is the monitor or the screen. This one is the keyboard. We also have different type of wireless keyboards these days. This one here is a mouse. As you can see this one downstairs is a printer. Whenever we need documents to be printed, we use printer. The audio from a computer comes through speakers. The main processing is done in a CPU. As you can see, this one is a computer case, which is also called a CPU, which has a processor inside. We can provide, uh, we uh, have also CD drives and DVD drives in a computer and a floppy disk drive. Now central processing unit, uh, unit or CPU is actually called the brains of the computer. Whenever we provide an input to a computer, it is, it is through the CPU that all the processing is done. Floppy disk drive, CD-ROM and DVD drives are the different type of drives where we can store information or data. Now we will discuss what is the difference between input and output. As I told, you, uh, told uh, you earlier that input is the information that you provide to a computer. Whatever information or data that you give to the computer is called the input. Now the uh, computer does the processing and it ref returns information to us in the form of output. Now you can see here the different type of input devices. The different type of input devices here are keyboard, mouse, trackball, joystick, light pen, pointing, pointing stick and touchpad. In se hum information lick kar computer ko de sakte hain. To ye humare input devices hai jis ke through hum information dete hain computer ko. Touch screen also is an example of input device. The different type of output devices jahan se information humare ko milti hai processing ke baad unko hum output devices kehte hain. Output devices are monitor where we give information result in the form of computer processing or we can print information where our information is output through the printer ke thru aa hai, print format so printer is also a kind of output device because usme information is written in our form or in audio we can have information in the form of information after processing information it uh, can audio play which can come through speakers ke thru aa sakta hai. speaker is also a kind of output device processing device which is the main 
main part of a computer which is called the CPU or the brain of a computer or the heart of a computer is the one which is resp responsible for processing information that has been entered into the computer. Ye sari calculations karta hai. So CPU is actually the brain of a computer. Ab hum apni information store karte hai. Hum memory mein bhi store kar sakte hai, internal memory of a computer aur hum isko external bhi save kar sakte hai. Agar hum internal memory mein save karte hai, to humare paas options hote hai hard drive ke. Which is actually the memory stored in a computer, which is, uh, which is assessed through RAM, which is the random access memory, the temporary memory or the read only memory, which is a long term memory. Aaj kal hum apni external, uh, hum apni memory external devices may be store kar sakte hai. since the fourth generation of computers, we can also use external storage. Jaise ki we can use floppy disks, we also have CD-ROMs, which is a compact disk. We can use compact uh, read and uh, CD, RW drives also, DVDs and USB or jump drivers. The disk, uh, hard disk drive is a kind of storage medium. Which is a magnetic act, which is a magnetic platter that holds large amount of information in the form of a compute uh, in a, in a form that the computer can understand. A floppy disk is a flat circle of iron oxide coated plastic enclosed in a hard plastic case. Most are three and a half inches and have a capacity to hold 1.44 MB or more of data. CD-ROM or drive are the most common storage methods. Just you can see, which is our compact disk, which is actually a read-only memory. Uh, another storage device is a CD-RW, it is a device that allows us to read and write to a compact disk. Now, if we to discuss which storage device we have to basically the main constraint is memory. Different type of storage devices have different type of memory storage uh, capacity. Like if we talk about CD-ROM disk, its uh, capacity is 640 MB. Whereas a DVD disk has a 17 GB of memory storage. A hard drive has a 60 and above, uh, six, uh, sorry, it has a capacity of 80 and above GB of memory space. Floppy disks have generally 1.44 MB storage capacity. That's all for today. Thank you so much.